tricks are around us, but uh, it's also really easy to get excited. Good to see things have kicked off and are ready to go. That's what, I, that's what I was alluding to. SAFC usually just has their keepers send a boot across and try to develop something on the other side of the pitch, but that time they kept it short, and it leads to a Loudoun United opportunity here in the attacking third. Nice back foot there to pick up by Zach Ryan, and then it'll be spook, skip, picked up off the turf there by Sisniega. Uh, being first in the middle of it uh, as the feisty player that he is, defender of the year. Jorge Hernandez in penalty area. One touch here to Silva. Looking for a strike. It's a goal for SAFC. 1-0. And can you say that the system works? I think the system works, Carl. You know Coach Marcina is pumped about that. Lucas Silva plays the spacing, gets it past Peru, and... Calm, composed. Pass intended for a boo will be taken away here by Skundrich. And the shot there by Zach Ryan ties us up at one. It feels like deja vu. Deja vu all over again this time. Just that pacing almost hurts SAFC. Using all that time around the back line. Eventually just one little push there by Loudoun United. And the equalizer in the 17th minute. We'll have a look back at it here. As you mentioned, Carl, it's that slow passing. They need a little more pace if they're going to play. That's while playing with the ball. So good at that. Mitch will not be fooled again. <laughs> and Mitch Tanner, lucky he didn't receive a yellow, as now he gets a headbutt from Farah and uh, Francois. Francois, rather. And Francois will send Mitch Tanner to yeah. the ground a little bit earlier. Excuse me, Jacob or Lansing, not Keegan. That's right. Yeah, the, there's two Keegans on the back line. You you had a good ch uh, guess there. Yeah, 50% and, chance, and I got it. <laughs> and it's here's Jacob the Lansing. second yellow card. It will be issued here, and it's a red. So there will be a man down for Loudoun United the rest of the match. Leaves it here for Tainter. Silva with that his team down the touch line. Silva into the penalty area. And it's deflected out, and nice defensive effort there by Hughes. The turn and the shot, the goal for SAFC off the foot of Juan Agudelo. His first goal as a member of San Antonio Football Club. Agudelo, I'd expect nothing less. He has one heck of a track record. Makes his way to San Antonio FC from Birmingham. And my goodness, what a way to walk into this club. Quite a few guys on this season debut. With a big goal, we're going to have to watch back at this replay. Of course, Jorge Hernandez is involved. That's Hugo Faru will breathe a sigh of relief as you can see a lot of the play developing there for SAFC on the attack. Punts it away. There's that change of pace we were talking about. Just couldn't quite control the pace there up top. Dan Brock tried to send to the penalty area. There's a fight for it. The turn and the shot is wide. Jorge Hernandez. Off the head of Omar. And then Hawkinson had it deflected away. No, they will say no touch there by Ferro, and he just sent it over the crossbar. Coach mentions he's young, hungry, talented, ambitious, aren't they all? Also physically dominant. It's all about that separation speed. Something you absolutely want there on the flank. Agudelo with a nice move to get into the penalty area. To the penalty arc. The shot by Omar. Headed away. Great defense there by Keegan Hughes. You know SAFC would always be content statting their pats. Uh, stat patting their stats. But obviously <laughs> they yeah. wouldn't mind having one more goal either. As Agudelo breaks free. He has a one-on-one -on -one here. Cuts back. Extra pass here. 
Mudelo had a punched away there by Faru, and then it'll be sent in the opposite direction. And SAFC could still be on the attack here as Hawkinson has it well wide. Agadello could have taken that one all on his own, was really selfless. Open SAFC will have their first win, but here's a dangerous play as it'll be Cisniega coming up with the most clutch stop of the evening. Right, Cisniega tested. Really showing out here, showing out big. I mean, you can argue that that first goal against him. Mars there to play it, and Agudelo heads it for Mulatto to send it into some area where it'll be eventually picked up by Dan Broad and now out in United. Working quickly the other direction. The counter. And then cleared out by SAFC. Headed out by Burks. The recycle, the service, and the equalizer. I was just about to say Loudon United relentless despite being a man down. Dog pile completely warranted there. They can absolutely pat themselves on the back. Cisniega unable to read that ball through traffic. Florian Velo has started this match and played hard for 91 minutes, and he comes up with a big one here. Goes off the head of Hughes, and there's the whistle for full time. So, escaping with a shorthanded goal to tie things up at two, Loudon United.